and welcome to all place don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell down below to know whenever i upload uh today i will be just saying happy new year's to everyone and new year's eve um today i really wanted to just sit down and talk and you know hash out this year i guess um this year has been hard for all of us and you know uh we all have our things that get us through it and dnd was my thing literally at one point I had like D&D going almost like five times a week and I really enjoyed it and I would like to say thank you to um, you know my DM who actually set that up for all of us to be able to do D&D and take the time to do it because if not like you know it would have been an even worse year. I just keep messing with my hair. It's fine. Um, what I really wanted to do was like discuss the impact it has to be able to actually do D&D. For those who do enjoy d and I hope you guys actually like this conversation. Because you know, D&D to me means a lot. Like, without D&D, it's kind of like me not dancing. It's like taking my dog is knocking my camera over. It's like taking my leg and cutting it off in my own opinion. I don't know how everyone else is about D&D. But, you know, if you are trying out D&D, you do D&D, I always recommend you try it. Even if you don't like it, you can find things to love about it. You don't have to do it. I'm not saying go ahead, always play it. But, you know, let's start the new year out strong. Let's all think positively and let's do what we need to do to be happy this, sem this semester, this next year. So, even if things at the fan, you have something to do. Uh, like, I don't know, go draw, go do things that you find fun. And that's really what I want to get across in this video, is that, you know, even in, like, the darkest days, you know, there's always something you can do to have something fun and exciting to look forward to. When you stay home all day and you get to play a video game that you always wanted to do, or you have to go to work, and then you come home and you're like, oh, I have to take care of the kids or whatever. Always find some time for yourself because it's the best thing that anyone can ever do for themselves. I struggled with this for years because I used to like be dancing all the time. You know, I love dancing and I love singing, but you know, it came to the point where I was just like doing it all the time and I wasn't happy anymore and I was like, what can I do to make myself feel better? And then, like, my dad was like, oh, I started doing D&D. And I was like, okay, that sounds like fun. I want to do it. And my dad's like, well, we'll have you come and sit. And I'm like, no, I actually, dad, I just want to do it. Let me go. Let me play. I want to play. It looks so fun when I, like, watch other videos about it. And if it wasn't for, like, my dad going and doing D&D or, like, you know, my DM, who is Ren, who I play games with all the time, had not ever invited my dad to be able to play D&D, I probably wouldn't have this like thing about D&D. Like, I love gaming, I love playing Dungeons & Dragons, I love to dance, I love to sing, I love K-pop, I love J-pop, I love music in general, so, you know, it's always better to just like, have something you love in your life. It doesn't mean all the time you have to like, go and do something you love, I just recommend it because, you know, at the end of the day, if you don't have something that you really enjoy, you're gonna have one of those lives where you're just like, I don't know what I want to do. Some people like ling linguists <laughs> love language. Some people also love gaming. Like, you just need to find your own thing that makes you happy. I get happy all the time when it comes to like rolling dice or when I go walking through the, the house I actually dance to the house <laughs> and my friend's always like because she lives with us she's like what are you doing I'm like I'm doing an arabesque pot of shot leap it just it's okay I'm doing turns I'm doing my tilt right now I'm trying to like dance through this time where I couldn't go and go dance or I would make videos on things so that I could feel the creative passion that I enjoy doing and you know at the end of the day 
I don't always post on YouTube all the time. I try to post at least twice a week. Last week that didn't happen. That's why this video is coming out on Thursday. Um, but just finding something that I really enjoyed throughout this time like made it a lot better. Like being able to do <laughs> things multiple times a day that would keep me busy instead of me sleeping all day. Cause you know, if anything, I would be sleeping all day. And you know, I'm really proud of myself because uh, instead of gaining weight during this quarantine, I've actually lost weight. And I'm very proud of myself for that because it's really hard for me. I used to be so tiny and skinny. Like I used to be like nothing. I used to like weigh 120 at one point, maybe less than that. I don't know, my friend like weighs 110, but you know. For me, it was tiny because I danced, I did all the stuff, and I had muscle. And then I started losing, I gained weight, thanks to someone I do not want to ever speak about again. I do not ever enjoy their company, and uh, if you ever want to see a video about that, I can always get a video about that. But um, all in all, like me taking the time to actually become healthy for myself, I eat the right amount, I drink water all the time, like. I just had to find something that really made me happy. And then I started doing YouTube. And you know, it's not going to be like a fast process with YouTube, I already knew this. I knew it was going to take forever for me to be able to like get popular on YouTube, but I really appreciate those who have actually like liked my videos and watched my videos and have subscribed to my channel because it makes me feel so much better that you guys, even the people who comment, even if you're my friends, I really do appreciate every single thing you guys have done. And so I wanted to end this year on a thankful note and tell everyone that you can be happy and find things that make you happy. <laughs> Even if you don't think you can, you have got this. It's hard time. Um, everything happens for a reason, and you know, at the end of the day, you get to choose how you feel about something. And yes, some things are sad, and you just want to cry about them. And then there's other things that are happy, and you just want to be happy about them. Or you're like me, and you just cry at everything. <laughs> Someone yells at you, and you're just like <laughs> in the corner crying, or. Someone says something that they didn't need to say and you're just like, I don't know if I did something wrong or not, but that's fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, just find something you love. Be positive and yes, let's start this next year thankful, happy, and you know what? You don't have to set a New Year's resolution if you don't want to. Don't set a New Year's resolution. Every time I set a New Year's resolution, <laughs> New Year's resolution, I tend to um, never end up doing it. So don't set a New Year's resolution. I say set a monthly goal or set a day-to-day -day thing like, oh, I'm going to drink more water or, hey, I'm going to eat this, this, and this today or, hey, I'm going to go and play Beat Saber or whatever that is as my friend always plays that for her exercise and it's just fun to hear because she recently got into K-pop because of it, because of BTS being on there and it just made me smile because I was just like, oh now I have another conversation to talk to you about. Um, and always find those friends that you can always talk to and message, even if you're having a hard time, you know, you don't need a million friends, like, you know, I only have like my d and friends, which are my gaming friends, which are my friends' friends. <laughs> then I have my gaming friends that are just my gaming friends that I have met through one person or another. I have my brother's friends that are my friends, and then I have the friends that I've met through school or through my mom. And my best friends are literally two different people who have two different ideas of things. And, you know, I just recommend having someone who actually wants to be there for you. And I really hope this recorded sound, because I can't even tell. I think it did. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video of me ranting about uh, having a good New Year's and I'm going to fix it. <laughs> and having like a goal for next year or whatever you want to have. Just be happy New Year's. It's gonna be great. Everyone celebrates. Everyone like fireworks, I don't know. People have been throwing out fireworks since Christmas, before Christmas even. Like, just throwing out fireworks outside my 
place and everyone's just like, is that gunshots? And I'm like, oh my goodness, those songs sound anything like gunshots. <laughs> uh, when you're raised, when you're raised by people who used to like go to the farms and stuff, you, you know what gunshots sound like. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell down below to know whenever I upload and I will try and always remain consistent. And thank you again for Ren, for all the people that I have in my life, for my dad, for my mom, and just be thankful for this year. <laughs> okay. Uh. Bye.